has never been easier to create engraving and model text into a design. So in this example, we're going to use the vector text command. So within vector text, we can copy a part number right onto the model and paste it into the vector text. What this command will do is it automatically creates the text as profiles and curves, and it also creates this text as single line, making it easier for you to be able to do some design work. So if we're going to model this text right onto this part as a solid, we want to use projected elements. So when we pick the face, we can project this text right onto that face so it's exactly normal to that face. So from here, we can use some surfacing commands such as pipe surface. We can select our profiles that we have created and basically create some boundaries around them. This creates a piped or rounded surface around all those areas. I have the set to close to solid so you can see how each one of these is a solid. Basically what I'm going to do with that solid is I'm going to caveat out of the model, making it easier for you to be able to physically see the design of the engraving within the cavity. So we select the solids. And then I'm going to hide those pipe surfaces temporarily here so we can actually see what's physically modeled out. So as you can see, you can see that text is now modeled out of this program. So what I can do additionally is I can delete the solids out so I leave the profiles behind. These profiles are going to be what I'm going to use later to be able to do my machining. So now let's do some machining off of this. So I'm going to go into Cam Navigator. I'll add a model into this area. That model is going to be used for three axis work. And inside of this piece management, I can look up my three axis machining. From here, I will select the projection command. Projection is used specifically to cut a profile or cut right on a line to be able to create the engraving text. I'll select my tool for engraving. As you can see, here's the tool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick those curves, which are the profiles I have created. So it selects all the profiles. I could choose to do a negative allowance to cut into the part, but because we already have this text already modeled out, that's not needed here. So what I'm gonna do in this situation is I'm gonna go ahead and build the operation after selecting those profiles. Basically the only change I did is I made the uh, retract movement to axial instead of radial. So as you can see, we have a nice clean toolpath that follows those profiles and basically creates your engraving font around this piece. Very simple. So additional to this, I'm gonna go ahead and add some more engraving text but this time, I'm not going to project it onto the part, and I'm not going to model it in, because that's not necessary to machine. So I'm just going to add this name prototype in here. I'm going to place this on the model. So within this, I'm going to go ahead and just add an operation again. Same thing as projection. We'll pick the same exact tool. And we'll select those drive curves. As mentioned previously, these drive curves don't need to be modeled onto the part to be able to machine. Because when we select the piece, it's actually going to go normal to the piece referencing those drawing curves. For this one, I am going to put a negative allowance so it actually cuts into the part because that is not modeled into the part. So if we're actually trying to engrave it, this will actually engrave it. So as you can see, it follows the normal of the piece, and it creates that toolpath. 